what's up everyone welcome back to another tech period video in today's video i'm going to talk about how to download and install uh, windows subsystem for android so first of all you need to check whether your pc is up to date if not just update windows so I'm, i have currently uh, my version is 21 h1 h2 uh, version and the build is 22000 so it works for me so try it out with uh, your pc and up make sure windows is updated now if you go to windows subsystem for android you can see i have completely installed windows subsystem for android in this pc and the latest version of it so without further ado let's see how we can do this okay the first step we are going to do is to change the region to united states because uh, right now on windows subsystem only works for region of united states <coughs> let's go to this go to start and type settings and go into settings in settings uh, click on search and search for region region settings click on that and make sure uh, the region is selected on your country of region make sure this is selected united states okay okay uh, next thing we need to change is to virtualization you have to enable virtualization from the bios i can't show it to you because uh virtualization for the processors it's uh, for the motherboards and processors is uh, different so you have to search for your processor and motherboard how to enable virtualization on google and it's <coughs> pretty much easy you just need to google it and it will show you what uh, key you need to change and most of most of the time most motherboard has uh, something called virtualization on BIOS. Just enable it and it will work. Other thing you need to enable is Hyper-V and Virtual Machine Platform. To do that, uh, go to search and type features. And go to turn Windows features on or off. Click on that. In here, make sure this Hyper-V is selected. And also scroll down and see you will be able to see virtual machine platform make sure it is checked now click ok it will search for uh, application files and apply changes now you have to click on restart uh, now to uh, to if get take effect on all the changes we have done so I'm gonna restart and I'll come back later The next step we are going to do is to enable developer option on your windows 11 pc so to do that go to start go to settings in here search for developer option developer settings and make sure this is enabled and you have to click yes now the developer option has been enabled the next thing we are going to do is to update microsoft store so go to search and type microsoft store open that up in here go to library and click on get updates it will get all the updates for the uh, applications and stuff and it will update your uh, microsoft store wait for it it will take some time to update to everything quick note uh, if you not get this uh, or updates uh, loading bars what you need to do is click on update all it will update all the application on your windows 11 pc install from the microsoft store and it will take some time to complete everything uh, give a like 10 to 15 minutes it will update everything i will come back after everything is updated okay as you can see everything has been updated now we can go to the next step the next step is to download windows subsystem for android to do that uh, go to the two links in the description below and uh, the first link is the store link which is the microsoft store official link which um if you are from united states you can install just clicking get it, uh, get in store app and if you press that it will install into your windows 11 pc if you are from united states 
if you are not from United States and you are from unsupported country, it will not work for you. So I will have a, another way you can do it. So copy this link and go to the second link, which is a, a site where you can download packages from Microsoft Store. So I'm going to paste this link and press this uh, button. It will show me a bunch of files. So what we are going to focus about is the last one, which is uh, .msix bundle. That's the one. And other one we are going to download is uh, Microsoft UI SAML is this one. So I'm gonna talk about I'm I my machine is uh, about uh, 64 bit. If you are using 32 bit, you have to download this one. So my mine is 64 bit. I'm gonna click on this one. And if you get this error, error about uh, secure error, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Just click more action and click keep and click keep anyway. Because these are files from Microsoft Store, you don't have to worry about any malware or viruses. And click this one as well. And do the same thing for this one as well. Keep, keep anyway. Make sure you are using uh, Microsoft Edge browser. For some reason, it won't work for Google Chrome. I didn't. It didn't work for Google Chrome, so I tried with Microsoft uh, Edge browser, and it worked fine. So try to use this one if it doesn't work for Google Chrome. So let's wait of, wait for the download to be finished. These are the two files we just downloaded. So download has been finished. The first one is UI SAML. Double click on it and install it. Then the second one is Microsoft uh, Windows Subsystem for Android. To in install that, go to search and type PowerShell. PowerShell and right click on it. Click on run as administrator. In here, you have to uh, type this uh, command. I will put this command in the uh, description below in the video. I'll You can just copy it and paste it here. And once you've done that, you have to right click on the file and click copy as path. Then uh, left click, sorry, uh, right click on here. It will paste it here. Then press enter. As you can see, it's uh, installing Windows subsystem for Android onto your Windows 11 PC. Okay, it's successfully finished. It will take some uh, like a uh, uh, few seconds to one minute, uh, something like that. Just wait for it. Now it's finished. Let's close the window. And now you can delete these files. Now go to search and type Windows Subsystem for Android. You should be able to see this application on your start menu. Okay, even though we have Windows Subsystem for Android, we don't have the latest version of it. So to do that, as we as I mentioned earlier, go to Microsoft Store. And go to library and click on get updates if there's a new update for windows micro windows subsystem for android it will update your windows subsystem for android so everything is uh, updated i can see it doesn't have any update right now if you have it will um, update your Windows subsystem for Android. Okay, um, updates are finished. Let's go to search and type Windows subsystem for Android. Let's open it up. And if you go down to about, you will see the version is the current version of the updated version of the Android subsystem for Android. Now you can use uh, Android apps and everything you want to do from this Windows subsystem for Android. For the next video, I'll show you how to install like a Play Store or something like that to install actual Android apps on your Windows 11 PC. Stay tuned on this uh, next video. Subscribe to this channel 
to stay tuned on our future videos click on the bell icon and see you next time with another video like this bye bye